morning everybody and happy Saturday. Well, it's still morning here in California. I hope you are all doing well. I just started the video and I heard my front gate open. I am here today to set up in my wrong wrong happy planner wrong wrong collaboration happy notes. I'm going to be setting it up in a bullet journal style. Um, when I began planning seriously a couple of years ago, I started in bullet journals. And I've still, actually I've got a few of them sitting around, but um, scribbles that matter. This one was a Lamome, and I still use them. But right now I'm having such fun with um, with the Happy Planner notes that that's what I'm doing some bullet journaling in. Now I am taking inspiration for this. I'm going to say style, even though it's a very loose. It's not really uh, measured per se. It's not specific measurements. I've counted my sections and my squares just for a general purpose but it's a very loose um artsy sort of freehand style which i really like and i got this idea from hearts and plans on youtube and she's also on instagram at hearts and oh hearts and a plan i'm sorry hearts and a plan on youtube i tagged her yesterday on our 52 day challenge and um on instagram she's hearts and a plan so you can also go on there and see her original um she did it in a happy notes as well so yeah um you can go on to her channel and watch it you can also go on to her instagram and see her layout i've sort of say taken the same general idea but i'll be decorating mine differently putting my own spin on it for my week. And I will be planning, let me see, let me do just this little flip through for you. I've got some sticky notes there. I've also already done a little bit of work in here. I've set up my month and this is again, bullet journal style. All um, I did with the ruler, but very loosely and imperfectly, if you will. Um, set up the month of May, even though we're halfway through. I still had some important dates. My daughter's birthday is Monday. My grandson's is um, the 30th. We're going camping the 24th and the 25th. So I wanted to be sure and get those on here. So this is a bullet journal setup, and I got these. These were, what did I use for these? These were... Excuse me a second. These were Happy Year was what I used for that. I don't think I ended up even using, oh, in the food sticker book, I got the little cupcakes and I got the Mother's Day out of, um, uh, one of the quote, maybe the seasonal. One of the seasonals I got the Mother's Day out. Sometimes I do these things and then I forget. But anyway, that's my monthly overview. I will be setting up um, a video. I will be making a video and I'll set up June to show you. And I cannot find my good. I just bought some new erasers yesterday and I'll be darned if I can find the one I was using yesterday when I set this up. So this is just a combination of some header stickers from the dates and holidays and some freehand writing and a few stickers. And then this is going to be my setup for, because this one, I was thinking I had a week set up in here, but I don't, I didn't, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna set, I already have a theme picked out. So I'm gonna go ahead, gosh, it's our, yeah. I'm gonna set up the week of, sorry, I'm kind of talking to myself here. And I will, once I get going on this, I will fast forward it and put it to music. So I will not bore you to death. Um, 
I will be setting up the week of Sunday the 20th through Sunday the 26th. All right. Let's go ahead and get started. If it gets too noisy, I will shut my door. Okay. Oops. Okay, so here is our roughly sketched layout. These are going to be my days of the week, Saturday and Sunday combined onto here. And this is going to be um, weekly goals, the month, notes. And I'm not too sure what I'm going to use this for. So um, I've already done the squares and these squares are 15 across and 14 down um, on this side. These are a little bit more loose because they're not really um, anything in particular. It's just sort of, you know, setting up some irregular size boxes. So I'm going to go ahead and it's funny, I was planning yesterday with my grandson was here and now I can't find I have one particular pen that I have used for years to do my lines oh here it is I got these pens I think off Amazon and I don't even know what they're called I think they were a oh god it's I don't have the papers anymore it's been so long says Saipa, S-I-P-A, but they're in Japanese, so I just, I don't know, I really like the way this black one lines. So what I'm going to do, and, and this style too that I'll be showing you came from Hearts and a Plan, and I really like it, and you, well, I can flip back and show you that I sort of did it on my monthly overview, and I really liked the way that it turned out, and I liked the imperfection of it oh see okay well I've got the other side of it here but see um, she was talking about when you're doing your lines just to kind of skip spots so it's not perfect and even maybe heavier in some places lighter in others but I really really liked that look so I'm gonna go ahead and do that on here starting with this page hope you can all see okay let me check my let me zoom you in just a little more there we go I think that might be nice so again just very roughly and loosely nothing perfect by any means and it can be wavy it doesn't have to be straight
tape down. So I'm going to do a couple like that. And one here. I'm going to do that here. So it looks like you've got some, like you've taped your notes down. So on a couple of them, I'm doing that. Again, very sort of generic, nothing precise by any means. And then on a couple of them, I'm going to be doing a push pin. So it just sort of makes it look like you've got your, all these little sticky notes are, let me look at something. Um, I already got out my, I did this yesterday on my monthly page and I thought it was cute. So let me, I just want to sort of go over it again a little thicker so it stands out just a little more. Ooh, that's a thick piece of tape, that one. some stencils I got off Amazon again quite some time back got a little tape on one side a little push pin on another let's see let's come and do a little tape here There. A push pin on this guy. Tape. This guy can have a little push pin. Isn't that cute? All right, you guys. I think that's going to conclude this. If you found it encouraging or inspirational, please consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and ring the little notification bell so you're notified when I do upload a video or do a live stream. Thanks for joining with me and have a beautiful day.